If you're running low on GTA 5 cash and need to make some money for the latest DLC, then make sure you download App Bounty in the description below. It's a free and easy way to get your hands on shark cards by downloading and playing games. Once again, link in the description. So at this moment in time, we are now the most wanted people in North Yankton. So if we go over to that bank in North Yankton at a later date, then they're definitely going to recognize us. And I want to know what's going to happen. Are they going to ignore us? Are they going to take us out? I don't know. And there we go. Prologue's over. It's nine years in the future. And they're now in San Andreas. So first things first is we're going to teleport over to North Yankton. North Yankton, there it is. And we're now in North Yankton. Shall we hang out with Trevor? Shall we do that? Yeah, let's hang out, dude. We're going to take a trip down memory lane, guys. Here we go. Can you feel that nostalgia, Trevor? Can you feel the nostalgia? Because we're going to take you over to the one place which you really shouldn't go to. Do you recognize this place, Trevor? Do you recognize it? Oh my days, guys. This is the final door. And once we go through this door, anyone working in this bank is going to be inside here. And they're going to recognize us. We are the most wanted people in North Yankton after the raid we did nine years ago. Three, two, one, go. Let's do this. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nort, and as you guys can tell, we are back again in Prologue in GTA 5 because we're going to test out an idea which I've seen quite a few of you guys ask me to test out over the past few months, which for some reason I decided not to test out until today. This video was meant to be done months ago, but we just didn't do it. So I decided, you know what, let's get around to doing this video. Let's see what happens. And what we're going to do is bring Michael and Trevor back over to the bank they raided in Prologue in GTA five when they do end up going to San Andreas. Because if you guys think about it, Trevor runs off to Sandy Shores after this mission finishes and Michael runs off to Los Santos with a new identity. And what we know for sure is Michael might not be most wanted, but Trevor definitely is because they don't actually catch him whatsoever. So if we take Trevor and Michael back over to this bank when they're living in Los Santos or Sandy Shores, it's going to be interesting to see how the security react and what does happen. Will they get taken out? Will they be completely ignored? I don't know, but it's going be interesting to see what happens when we do take them back to this bank. So we're going to do that in today's episode and this is just going to be awesome. So before we get into this, I just want to kindly ask each and every one of you guys to smash that thumbs up button. That would of course be absolutely amazing. Let's try and smash that goal of 5,000 likes. You guys get it every single time. So thank you so much for that. And let me know in the comments below what you think is going to happen in today's episode because this question has been popping up in the comments so much lately over the past few months and I just don't know what's going to happen. But it's an interesting question. Come on guys, get into the back room. You know the drill. Just do what I say and everything will be A-OK. -okay. <laughs> Come on guys, just, just keep going. Come on. Come on, you can do this. You too. Perfect. Awesome. So, can we bring up our phone? I think we can. Let's go and activate the stickies on the vault door. And three, two, one, boom! And the dirt is gone. <laughs> there we go. Everything is still inside, waiting for us to grab. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Everything's pretty much been cleared up. So let's go. Oh, no, Michael's in a pickle. <laughs> Michael, don't worry, dude. We're gonna save you. We're gonna save you. It's okay. Let's go, Michael. We can think about this stuff later. We can think about it later. Right now, we just need to focus on escaping because there's so many people surrounding us. And this is where the fun begins because everyone is starting to pile up around us. So here we go. Wait, they're leaving without me. They're literally leaving without me. What are they doing? They're going without me. What? He just, he, he ran over Michael. Are you, what? What? What are they doing? Wait, I gotta, I gotta catch up with these guys. I gotta catch up with them. Oh my days. These guys are really pushing my limits here. Where's Brad going? I can see a dot. Wait, where, where is Brad? Wait, what? <laughs> what are you doing? What is going on? I have no, Michael was, I don't even know where Michael was. This is not funny. Come on guys, stay with me. Wait, is Brad, where's Brad going? Okay, Michael's behind me. No, he was behind me. They're running off into the distance. And I just realized, look at my health bar that guys, like I have no health at all. Come back. I, I literally, I've done nothing to them. I've done absolutely nothing to them. Am I meant to stick with them? Are we taking another route home? What is going on? Guys, come on, come back. Stop doing this. What? I, I didn't leave them behind. They left me behind. Oh my days. All right, let's just do this again. Come on. Don't run away from me this time, guys. Don't run away from me. It's still asking me to return to the crew. They're literally running off into a field. Uh, can I skip this? Can I at least skip this? Because this is impossible. Yeah, I'm skipping. I'm skipping. I don't care, guys. I have no idea what's going on here. But there we go. We're now getting into the car, and we've just done the raid in the North Yankton Bank. So, there we go. We're now the most wanted people in North Yankton. So, at this moment in time, we are now the most wanted people in North Yankton. So, if we go over to that bank in North Yankton at a later date, then they're definitely going to recognize us, and I want to know what's going to happen. Are they going to ignore us? Are they going to take us out? I don't know. Oh, man. I'm 
I'm so sorry, Brad. Can I skip? I can't skip this. We gotta go through this again, guys. We gotta go through this again. Oh, man. I'm sorry, Brad. I'm really sorry, but this needs to be done. We got Dave just waiting for them. Just waiting for them. Where is he? Where are you, Dave? There he is. How's it going, Dave? <laughs> Brad has now been taken out and Dave fires another one, but this time it's a blank and it hits Michael, but it doesn't actually do anything to him. Michael fakes it because he wants to get a new identity, take the cash and return into Los Santos. So that's exactly what happens in this situation for those of you guys who don't quite know. And if you want to skip this part, all you need to do is run out here and boom, everyone is now coming out after you. There he goes off into the distance. I've also seen a few of you guys ask me where Trevor runs off to. I have been trying to do this idea for a video, but it's impossible to follow him. But if I do find a way to follow him when he is running off in North Yankton. I will, of course, make sure to record that and make a video, but I have seen you guys ask me to do it, but it's just so difficult to do that idea and record that video because you're not really allowed to use cameras when you're watching Trevor run away and stuff. Where's Michael? Where is he? Where is he? Where are you, Michael? We know you're here somewhere. Oh, oh, there you are. And there we go. Prologue's over. It's nine years in the future, and they're now in San Andreas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip to a part where Michael and Trevor are unlocked, and then we're going to go over to North Yankton, and this is just going to be exciting. So let's go. Can we skip this? We can. And I'm just going to play through this until we unlock Michael and Trevor in GTA 5. Okay, so I've managed to unlock Michael and Trevor, as you guys can see. If we go over to Michael, yes, he's over there. Okay, awesome. So we now have Michael and... And Trevor unlocked. So this is what's going to happen. We're going to do what no one's done before and we're going to take them over to the bank in Prologue in North Yankton and we're going to see what happens. And man, am I excited for this because so many of you guys have been asking me to do this and it's about time we test out this idea. So first things first is we're going to teleport over to North Yankton. I believe it's in Others. North Yankton, there it is. And we're now in North Yankton. And now we're going to go back over to Trevor and we're going to teleport him over to North Yankton as well. I'm going to take both of the characters to the bank at the same time because both of them are going to be just as wanted as each other. But I think Trevor is going to be the most wanted here just because they don't really know Michael is still around considering he got a new identity and stuff. So shall we hang out with Trevor? Shall we do that? Yeah, let's hang out, dude. Can I find a car? Is there a car around us? I'm just going to spawn in a car right here, guys. Let's do this. Vehicle spawner. Off-road. Can we get... There's one car I want to get, guys. There's one specific one. Oh, it's this one. We're going to take a trip down memory lane, guys. Here we go. Can you feel that nostalgia, Trevor? Can you feel the nostalgia? Because we're going to take you over to the one place which you really shouldn't go to in GTA 5, and that is the bank you raided nine years ago in North Yankton, and this is going to be interesting. I'm excited for this because I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to be awesome nonetheless. People should be working in that bank because it's the only bank in North Yankton, so people should be there. And once they recognize Trevor, once the people inside the bank recognize Trevor or Michael, oh my days, I don't want to know what's going to happen. Are they going to catch the characters? Are they going to get caught or something? Are they going to be ignored? I think. Is that the bank? Is that it? Oh my days, I think that's it. I think that's it, guys. Yes, that is definitely the bank. Okay, so do you recognize this place, Trevor? Do you recognize it? All right, let's go inside. Let's go inside. Let's do this. Oh, that's weird. Can you guys see that? That's definitely not me. The lighting changes. If you guys go inside and outside, it's brighter on the outside, but darker on the inside. That's spooky. That's so weird. Anyway, I'm going to park up the car here. You can see tire tracks and stuff. So this is definitely an active place. So let's go inside and see if they've changed anything or if anyone is inside there. And if there is someone inside there, then they're definitely going to recognize us. And this is going to be interesting to see what does happen when they do recognize us. So are you ready, T? Are you just going to keep arguing with me? What's he saying? What are you saying? All your high class problems. <laughs> Trevor's just having a ramble. Don't worry about him, guys. He he's always like this. Let's use no clip, though. I'm going to go through this, and now we're going to go through this door. The moment we go through this door, we're going to be officially inside this bank. No unauthorized personnel beyond this point. Let's do this. Can we go through? Oh, wait. No, we've got to use no clip once again. Okay, so we're through the door. We've got Trevor with us again. This is interesting. The sprinklers are still on, and the alarms are still going. Even though this is nine years in the future. Okay. Can we go inside this room? The surveillance room? <gasps> Yo! We can go inside this room! Oh my days! That is different. That's different. If you guys remember, every single time we play Prologue in GTA 5, I always show you guys this secret room. But for some reason, Rockstar Games lock the door, and I have to use mods to get inside it. But for some reason, you're allowed to walk inside this room now. 
That's awesome! For those of you who haven't seen this room, it's literally just a surveillance room. You can see cameras and stuff, and they're just looking at different things. We did actually test this out. I placed a few things in front of one of these cameras, and we couldn't see it on the TV. So unfortunately, it's not a live feed, but still pretty cool nonetheless. Let's keep going through. Can we see anything? Oh, the vault door's still on, and it's brand new. They repaired it. They've replaced everything in the vault. That's so cool. So everything in the vault has been replaced alongside the door. So it's definitely been active since we did end up raiding it. It. And can we go through any of these doors? Okay, we can't go through this one. Can we go through this one? Not this one either. Oh my days, guys. This is the final door. And once we go through this door, as you guys will know, this is the bank lobby. So once we go inside it, anyone working in this bank is going to be inside here. And they're going to recognize us. We are the most wanted people in North Yankton after the raid we did nine years ago. And once we go through that door, I don't know what's going to happen. Oh my days. Should we do it? Can we just walk through? Can we... Oh my days. You're right, guys. I'm going to do it. I'm going to walk through the door. But if they recognize us, what are they going to do? I don't know. Let's do this. Let's go through. Three, two, one, go. Let's do this. Oh, you can go through the door. But wait. There's no one here. Literally no one here. That's interesting because people do work at this bank. Is there anyone back here? Still no one in this back room. I can't see anyone around here. Can we go through these doors? Through this one? Still nothing. That's so weird. I, I don't know why no one's here. Like, someone has to be here. Someone has to be working at the bank. The computers are on. We have files. We have plates. We have mugs. Everything is here. And it's active. They've replaced everything. Where are the workers? This is so weird. To be honest with you guys, I was not expecting this. I was expecting to at least encounter someone, but I can't see anyone inside this bank. So in case you're wondering, if you do return to this bank in GTA 5, once you have raided it in prologue, there's no one around to catch you. But it's good to see that they did actually repair the bank. The entire bank has been repaired. They've replaced the stuff we've taken from them, but there's no one working there, despite the fact that the entire building is still operational. They have electricity, they have plates, they have mugs, they have people there, but we just can't see them. And look at this, guys. This box here, if you remember, in prologue, there's a hole through the glass because we take out the guard before we do anything. And it's been repaired. There's a door there. Everything is back to normal. Is there anyone around the back? Let's go around the building, guys. Let's see if we can see anyone around the building. I don't even know where Trevor is. I've completely lost Trevor. Oh, there he is. There is literally no one working at the bank to catch you in, in GTA. So even if you're the most wanted person in North Yankton, no one is working inside the bank to recognize you, which is a total shame because I was expecting to find someone considering there's tire tracks in the floor, there's plates and mugs inside the bank, there's electricity in the bank, they've replaced everything, and the entire facility is pretty much back to normal and active again, but no one's working there, which is really strange. So I guess that pretty much answers our question in case you guys are wondering whether they take out Michael and Trevor, whether they ignore them or whether there's no one there, there is literally no one inside of the bank to catch you. So I guess that answers that. So unfortunately, guys, I'm going to end the video here. But this was an awesome idea. I'm really happy we did do this because loads of you guys were asking me to do this idea. And it got me interested as well because taking the characters back to the facility where they're most wanted in GTA 5 just has to be done. And I'm glad we did this. So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Let's try and smash that goal of 5,000 likes. You guys get it every single time, so thank you so much for that. And let me know in the comments section below if you would like to see me do any other challenges, experiments, or even any other ideas in GTA 5. And you never know, guys, your idea might make it into another video. I also recommend you guys do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on awesome stuff like this on a daily basis. But thank you so much for watching, guys. My name is Nort, and until next time, stay absolutely awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video.